tonight on Melo TV Sports, another South African unable to travel for the Caribbean Premier League. Jamaican-born NFL safety Patrick Chung opts out of the upcoming season. And results from NBA scrimmage action. We bowl off Melo TV Sports with cricket as West Indies Test captain Jason Holder has called on the England and Wales Cricket Board to show their gratitude to his West Indies team by scheduling a reciprocal tour of the Caribbean later this year. This after warning that the dire finances of what he termed Test Cricket's smaller countries may not survive the bicycle requirements of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. We have more from Courtney Wallace. Speaking in the aftermath of England's 269-run victory in the third and final test at Emirates Old Trafford, Holder conceded that mental fatigue had been a significant factor in his team's failure to build on their four-wicket win at the AGS Bowl earlier this month, adding that the routine of opening your curtains and just seeing the cricket ground had proven difficult for his players when trying to rouse themselves for the rigours of test cricket. However, he also acknowledged that there could have been no other way for the series to take place in the current circumstances pointing out that only England, India and Australia, the so-called Big Three Test Nations, have enough financial clout to stage international cricket in the midst of a global lockdown. Uh, as I said before, I don't think there's any other series that could have played during COVID without the lockdowns. You know, the additional cost of hosting a series is, is, is massive. You know, and particularly in the Caribbean, we would have struggled to, to having to, to put up any, any or having to host an, another team in the Caribbean, any team in the Caribbean, had not been for, for any financial support. So, yes, this is me personally putting up a, a case for a, a look at the revenue distribution, particularly from ICC, uh, and to see how, be how better we can support, you know, the quote unquote smaller countries uh, in world cricket. The West Indies captain warned that bilateral series involving less high profile teams could remain in serious jeopardy for the foreseeable future. Reporting for Melo TV Sports, I'm Courtney Wallace. The Jamaica Talawas will have to make do without South African left arm wrist spinner Tabrez Shamsi for the Caribbean Premier League. Shamsi is one of five South African players who will not be able to participate in the tournament due to their inability to travel to the Caribbean, with the only exception of Imran Tahir. Rassi de Van Dusen, Anrich Nortje, Rilan Rassau, and Colin Ingram are the others who are unable to confirm travel arrangements in time to be in Trinidad by August 1 when CPL organizers wanted all participating players to arrive in order to fulfill a 14-day quarantine period before the tournament begins. While the CPL had organized a chartered flight from London to Trinidad, the South African players were unable to give the UK in time bearing in mind flight scarcity, visa requirements, and the obligation to receive government permission. Tahir has not been in South Africa through the lockdown, but instead in Pakistan, where he was playing in the PSL and has been able to travel to the West Indies from there. He will turn out for the Guyana Amazon Warriors. South Africa remains in lockdown with all the provincial and international borders closed and is expected to only be Begin easing travel restrictions after the coronavirus pandemic peak passes at the end of September. On to the NFL news now. Jamaican-born New England Patriots safety Patrick Chung has joined the list of starters opting out of the 2020 season of the NFL. Chung had agreed to a two-year extension with the Patriots in May that included a $2 million signing bonus and base salary of $1.1 million. US dollars. The 32-year-old was set to enter his 12th NFL season, 11 of which he has spent with the Patriots. Chung is expecting his second child as well. According to an agreement approved by both the league and the NFL Players Association, players considered high risk for COVID-19 can earn $350,000 and an accrued NFL season if they choose to opt out, and players without risk can earn $150,000 for opting out. 
on to the NBA now. Ja Morant led the Memphis Grizzlies to a victory over the Miami Heat, while James Harden top scored in the Houston Rockets win over the Boston Celtics as teams played out their final scrimmages ahead of the NBA restart in the Orlando bubble. Rookie of the Year contender Morant dropped 22 points and 12 assists as the Memphis Grizzlies defeated the Heat 128-110 to in the final scrimmage for both teams before seeding games later this week. Harden scored 35 points as the Rockets beat the Celtics 137-112. to other results saw Phoenix burn Toronto Raptors 117 to 106. Oklahoma City Thunders were 131 120 winners over the Portland Trailblazers. San Antonio spurred Indiana Pacers 118 to 111, while it took overtime to separate the Dallas Mavericks 118 to 115 from the Philadelphia 76ers. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with Sports Spotlight. In tonight's Sports Spotlight, I wanted to talk about the result of the Test Series between the West Indies and England. England came from behind to win the Test Series 2-1 and regain the Wisden Trophy. And so, the over three decade wait continues. Now, for many Sports Spotlights, I have been asking, what can the West Indies do to win the series? And if they did, it would have been the first Test Series win in England since 1988. So, what was the reason for the West Indies to lose? Was it their batting or was it their bowling? You decide. This has been Sports Spotlight. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Shelly and Hill. Thank you, Christopher. And now to end tonight's newscast, here are the main points. One of the suspected robbers in a daring heist at the JN Bank in Westmoreland yesterday has been taken into custody. Residents expressed concerns with the closure of essential businesses within the parish of Hanover. Six years after the death of Mario Dean, Marvin Orr and Adrian Morgan plead guilty to manslaughter in the St. James Circuit Court and eight hospitals in Jamaica benefit from $15.3 million in hospital supplies from New York-based philanthropist Bill Tingling through the Medgive Corporation. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelly and Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing. Mellow TV Evening News at 8 was brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. If you think you've been exposed to COVID-19, stay home. Self-isolate immediately and call 888-1-LOVE. That's 888-663-5683. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness.